students welcome to the lecture number 22 we have decided as today is the saturday last day of the week we will conclude two more numericals of papus gardinas theorem to find volumes okay and we will start the next chapter new chapter from monday onwards let us see the numerical given over here example number six a bucket shown in figure is made of iron sheet find area of iron sheet required to make the bucket also find volume of water contained in the bucket so what we have to calculate we actually have to calculate the area or sheet, iron sheet required to make the bucket now this bucket concentrate on this bucket itself this is a portion, a portion, a portion of this bucket which is having diameter 300 mm and the lower diameter of the bucket is 200 mm this is the handle of the bucket which will for the decorative purpose only height of the bucket is 500 mm given to you so first of all we have to calculate area of iron sheet required to make the bucket now according to theorem number one for finding the area we have to take length as a revolving figure so you can see in this figure this is the axis of revolution about which the lines are to be rotated why lines because we have to find area so we have to rotate lengths here it is two lengths are to be rotated two lengths first length is this inclined line and second length is this horizontal line upper portion will be kept open to fill up the water okay so there are two parts only first one is inclined line and second one is horizontal line this inclined line length is not given for that you can see this upper length is 150 mm from the rotational axis which is equal to half of this 300 okay semi figure semi vertical figure only one side half of this lower diameter 200 is this 100 mm so the remaining gap you can see this is 20 by 500 mm and this base of the smaller triangle will become 50 how it is 50 150 minus 100 so by applying Pythagoras theorem we can find this inclination which is equal to under root of 500 square plus 50 square as the table. You will find this answer in your calculators. For length B, the horizontal length is already given to you 100 mm. By adding this two lengths, we will get sigma L the summation of both the lengths. Now, where is the CG? Where is the CG of this particular part? For the horizontal line, CG will be at this midpoint. From the rotational axis, it is measured as half of 100, which is equal to 50. Now, for BC, means this inclined line, CG will be at the midpoint. From the rotational axis, point C is at 150 mm, and from the rotational axis, point B is at 100 mm. So, by doing average, 150 to 100 by 2, you will get the answer 100 plus 25, like something there. Now, you will have to multiply area, sorry, length into x. So it is, here it is L1, x1, here it is L2, x2. Or there is some mistake in this table, then you can calculate at yourself according to the method. Now we have to find area which is equal to L into three times x bar. X bar will be calculated like this sigma x upon sigma L. Means L1, x1 upon L1 plus L2. L1, x1 plus L2, x2 upon L1 plus L2 by replacing the values. You will get x bar equal to 112.55. So area will be is equal to L into theta into x bar. So final answer area is given to equal to 0.64.36 mm square. So here is the example number six in which we have calculated area of iron sheet required to make the bucket. Now what we have required, what we are requiring now is to find the volume of water contained in the bucket. So for that area must be revolved about the rotation this is the area which should be revolved first one is triangle and second one is this part rectangle and second one is this part triangle so dimension of the rectangle is horizontally 100 and vertically 500 given over here base of the triangle is 50 height of the triangle is 500 let us calculate the areas first for the triangle sorry rectangle area will be 100 and 500 which is equal to 50,000 mm square. What is the area of the triangle? It will be one half base into height. So base is 50, height is 500. So one half 500 into 50 is equal to 12,500. What is x coordinate of the CG? For the x coordinate of the CG, concentrate over here. 
in this rectangle cg will be at the center so x coordinate which is equal to 100 by 2 so 100 by 2 is equal to 50 mm now for triangle cd is somewhere over here means the distance is based by 3 plus adding this distance to reach the revolving axis it is 100 plus 50 by 3 answer will be available in your KLC. find a1 x1 and a2 x2 for part 1 and part 2 so this is sigma a and this is sigma ax sigma a means addition of these two values and sigma ax means addition of these two values now find x bar sigma ax upon sigma a you will get this answer volume of surface of revolution is equal to a theta x bar according to formula but if all the values we will get volume is equal to 24.86 liters to make it in liters we have to convert first mm cube into meter cube and meter cube into liters you have to calculate mm cube into meter cube at your own but i am giving the hint to you one meter cube equal to 1000 liters so this is one meter cube equal to 1000 liter 24.86 liter so here is the sum number one in which we have calculated the volume of water contained in the bucket now see the example number two in which we have to calculate volume of this portion about y y axis means about a b axis okay in this part one is semicircle part two is small triangle and part two is bigger triangle from part one part two and part three are to be subtracted let us see the calculation first in the part one semicircle area will be equal to pi r square by 2 according to formula as you can see in the figure area of the semicircle is 2 meter so pi r square by 2 will be pi into 2 square by 2 6.28 meter square now x1 means x coordinate of the cg x coordinate will be this means according to formula 4 r by 3 pi so by addressing the values you will get the answer what is y1 so looking from the bottom x axis up to this city, y1 will be 2 meter means radius itself now what is part 2 it is triangle upper triangle cg of the triangle is somewhere over here from the vertical height it is base by 3 means 1 by 3 it is 0.33 meter from the bottom it is height by 3 means this is 1 by 3 and to the x axis it will be 3 meter so 3 plus 1 third of 1 is equal to 3.333 meters now part of the triangle lower triangle here it is the lower triangle cg will be somewhere over here it is is by 3 means 1 by 3 of 1.333 meter and here it is 3 by 3 which is equal to 2 third of 3 2 meter and area of the triangle is equal to 1 half base into height 1 half t into 1 which will give you 1.5 meter square now let us see the calculations ahead x bar and y bar for x bar and y bar actually here is x bar and y bar given to you from part 1 part 2 and 3 will be subtracted so by replacing the values you will get x bar equal to 1.088 meter and y equal to 1.844 meter now main important thing is to calculate the volume of revolution which will be equal to theta x bar so by replacing the area what is area so area is given to you even minus a2 minus a3 theta is always 2 pi radian up to 360 degree we have to revolve the object and x bar equal to this so by replacing the values and doing calculations we will get the volume of this particular portion 29.279 meter cube so students these are the two numericals of Pappus Cardinus theorem now you have practiced this sums so you have to speed up yourself and do the practice of some more examples at your own these two examples are again and again repeated in your notebook okay then and then you will masterize this method from today onwards this chapter will close and from monday onwards we will start another chapter to complete our remaining syllabus till then thank you students thank you very much and